In this video, I'm going to show you how to test household batteries with a multimeter. These are all typical batteries that you would find. Well, some a little bit atypical, but there's your D, your C, AA, AAA, 9 volt. Uh, this is an A23, and this is a common 2032 CR20. This is uh, commonly found in some garage reboats and a lot of key fobs. We're going to use this meter right here. This uh, in this demonstration, this is a fluke meter. This is auto ranging. You set it on DC voltage here. It automatically sets the range, meaning that it uh, it's, if it's a very high voltage, it'll automatically detect if it's low voltage, it'll detect that. On other meters like this Klein here, you would just go to the voltage setting. It defaults to AC. You would press the the select button to get into DC mode. Some meters are not auto ranging. So what you want to do is you want to make sure when you're testing batteries that you set it for a higher setting than what you expect. So this is a, we're not going over 20 volts. So for this one, you probably would set it at 20 volts because the highest value when we're going to read is, is 12 volts. So this is one we'll use during the demonstration. So we're checking DC voltage. DC voltage is voltage that doesn't oscillate like AC. It causes current to flow in only one direction. Whenever you're checking batteries, you definitely don't want to be in resistance mode or current mode because you can damage the meter if you do that. So, all right, so let's check this battery here. This is a D cell. I'm going to use the pointed side is going to be the red or positive. All right, so this one reads 1.508. Okay, so that's just a little bit over its 1.5 volt rating. You know, honestly, if, I, if I'm going to put batteries in something that I expect to last a long time, I actually like to see it better than that. I'd like to see it around 1.515, something like that. So this is a D cell here. I'm sorry, this is a C cell here. Three is 1.606. That's a good battery. That's a good fresh battery. This is a triple A. Again, the pointed side is positive, is the red lead. 1.624. That's good. I would trust that battery to last for a while. These are all alkaline cells, by the way which is what you're most commonly going to find. This AAA cell here, same thing. You use a positive lead and the, and the negatives, the black lead is going to go on the flat side there. And we were reading 1.6 something. So that's a fresh battery as well. This 9 volt battery here. So the point it's has gone, the small side is going to be the positive, which is a red lead. Sort of follows the convention. So for this one, we got 9.29. That's a good, 3% over, which is, that's a good fresh battery right there. This is an A23 battery. What you often find in uh, some garage remote controls and other applications. Again, the point of side is going to be positive. And we're reading 12.56. That's a, a good 4% over. That indicates that's a good battery there. This is a this, the button cell, commonly found in key fobs, again, and uh, garage remote controls. These are a little different. What you would may refer to as the pointed side on this, the small conductor is actually negative. The larger conductor is actually positive. So this kind of goes against the convention of, of the other types of batteries. So the red lead is going to go on the, it'll say positive right there on the battery. And then the negative lead is going to go on the other side. This we're getting 2.83. That's a bad battery. That one's bad. So. Let's have some fun here and look at some bad batteries. Let's move this out of the way. Okay, well, so most of these are bad, I think. So this is a 9-volt battery here. This one reads 2.25 volts. I don't even know why I've got it laying around, but that's definitely bad. Here's a, another 9-volt battery. This one reads 9.1 volts. So, yeah, it's technically good. But what really, what really defines how good a battery is is how well it does when it's required to do work. So if you put a load on it, a battery that's uh, you know, 9, 9.1 volts may, not, may drop in voltage significantly and may not last as long as a battery that we're reading a fresh battery, which is around 9.2 volts, 9.25. So it's technically still good, but I prefer to put a battery, higher voltage battery in. So here's another, this is a AAA. Should read 1.5, this is 1.34, definitely bad. Here's a D cell here. 
I'm sorry, this is C-cell. This is C-cell. 1.12, definitely bad. There's another one, the triple, uh, double A. 1.46, although that's close to 1.5, I'm not going to use this because when you put a load on it, caught you when you require it to do work, it's probably going to drop down around 1.3, depending on the application. And let's do one more here. Okay, so that's 1.12. That's a that's a triple A. That's definitely bad. So, no, that's no good. Uh, we'll, we'll get rid of that one. So anyway, so that's how you test household batteries using a multimeter. Uh, for a little safety statement, check the video description. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If so, please give it a like and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.